Ooh, the sun is bright this morning. How's everybody doing today? This is Eric from LapFix, and I got a pretty uh, nice tip for you guys today. Uh, you're probably going to the store, or if you're looking to buy like an external drive to, to move stuff over to a device, and you're probably thinking, you see in the store it says for Mac only, and then you see some that don't say anything at all, and you're thinking, well, what can I get? Because I need to make it work on my Mac and my PC. I have both at home, or I just don't know if I want to keep using a Mac, or I'm thinking about getting a new PC, or hmm, should I go Mac PC? I don't really know. But my storage device shouldn't be a problem when I buy it. I wanted to make sure it works on both in case I change my mind or if I have multiple devices. So this video is going to be for you. I'm going to show you guys a quick little tip actually for it here. So normally when you buy like a newer one today, uh, they'll come out. You can get like one terabyte Seagate, one terabyte Western Digital. Usually they'll look something like this, right? It's a USB drive some of you people have USB C's especially if you have newer stuff you can get a dongle we, we're gonna need that actually to show you guys in this video but you might be thinking well I want to use it on both right a PC and a Mac or I might have a hard drive just later on the house like an older USB drive but it only works on Windows or it only works on Mac and I just want to know how to use it on my other device well good news for you you guys watch this video you guys are up with me this morning yes we're gonna be showing you how to do that so we're going to start actually on Windows side here. So if I have a drive, right, and this is just a drive I actually bought off like the shelf where you buy from like uh, at a retail store. And if I go ahead and plug it in, let's go ahead and plug it in right now. And this is uh, without anything. This is just a brand new drive and we plug it in. And let's All right. Well, this actually popped up right when I plugged it in. And this is just a regular Seagate portable drive. This is the name of the drive. And you'll actually see that it'll come, it'll work for like start here with Chromebook, start here with Windows. And I'm surprised actually it's not showing another drive as well, like for Mac. Sometimes it has a Mac app actually built in. And this actually is a hidden folder. I don't know the registration. Oh, gosh. These are hidden folders. You see how it's a little bit blanked out there. But you're wondering, okay, does this work on PC? Does it work on Mac? Well, it worked on the PC right when I plugged it in. Uh, you guys should go to this PC. And we'll look at the Seagate portal. It even has a, a little icon here too. Well, not for long, but if you go to properties, you'll see actually this one right out of the box is actually supported. It says NTFS. So this is going to be a Windows drive. Um, and out of the box, this will not at least um, write to a Mac drive. So we want to make sure that this writes to both. Now, um, if you're going to be doing this on an older drive, you definitely want to make sure that you back up everything because doing this type of method is going to wipe. Uh, the drive itself because you need to reformat it to a format where it can read and write on both Mac and a PC or if you have another device too, even XFAT goes for multiple other devices as well, it could probably do other ones too. So um, if you have a brand new drive, this won't be a problem. Um, but if you do have another one, make sure you back it up first because reformatting it again is going to lose all that information. So we actually go here, we can go to properties and see again that's NTFS. Oh wait, no, we don't care about that. We're gonna actually go to format. And now format is what's gonna matter here. You see, so the default actually on this Seagate drive that I just, just bought recently is um, it's gonna see is NTFS, which is a Windows default for, for all drives. If I actually go even to a disk manager here, which is the disk management system, which shows all the hard drives on my system, you'll actually see all the Windows drives. You see NTFS, you'll see NTFS, NTFS, NTFS. It's just a basic Windows one partition. Um, now, if we want this to work on Mac, we would want to go to XFAT. XFAT is going to make it work on multiple other types of devices. It's, a, it's more of a standard across other, um, especially for USB drives. Or uh, if you have like a 64 gigabyte USB that you probably bought today, you probably get an XFAT because it will work off the, off the bat. You even see the volume label is actually shortened and there's not much you can do. I can't even add any more, right? LOL. Nope. That's it. Nope. See, it doesn't want anything else. So. We can say that this is going to be our Windows drive. We can leave it as a little L if you want, or you can name it whatever you want here. And we could format it. Now, doing this will erase everything that's on the drive. Um, the, the apps that you actually saw on the drive itself, um, those are basically like registrations. Sometimes you can put securities and stuff like that on there. Um, you can always read download that if you're really interested. But we want this really, the most important thing is this for, for it to work on Mac. So we're going to actually hit OK. And now format's complete. Now, you can see the drive name. And if we go to properties, you'll see it's an XFAT. Now, if we plug this into uh, a Mac drive, then it should work, right? Yep, that's correct. So uh, we showed the Windows side now, and we also showed if you got a brand new drive, if you wanted to make it work on both. Um, and I'm going to plug this one actually directly into the Mac drive. I'm going to show you guys in just a little bit. Man, the phone's ringing. We're not even open yet, and the phone's ringing. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on there. So let's say... Um, if I have a Mac drive, let's actually plug in the XFAT drive and let's go ahead and make sure it works on the Mac and then we'll switch it back to NTFS and I'll show you guys how it's going to actually view on a Mac and we'll actually show the difference there and why you actually can't 
typically removed. I probably should have showed it earlier, but you know, it's the whole point. I formatted there to show you guys for at least Windows, but we'll also show you guys through the Mac as well. Okay, so let's do the same process on a Mac. Um, since this is already formatted, I'll actually show you guys. Um, and then we'll go back to and back and forth a little bit there. But it's going to be showing the whole principle of it. So now if I connect it here, it should show up, right? Because I named the drive. What? There it goes. So you see this? This is the drive I actually named in the corner, which is good. And it does recognize it. Now you can go to something that's called Disk Utility. You can usually just go to the little launch pad here. And then you can go to Disk Utility or just search it. That's fine too. And it'll show the drive on the external. If you go down here, you'll see that the volume is an XFAT. Right, and now we can read and write to it. This won't be a problem. It connects. I can write this video that I made a little while ago, and it's going to be reading and writing totally fine. Right, so you can see it's transferring, it's copying, it's doing a lot of stuff. It's pretty fast. So obviously, MacBook Pro going on here, and it's going to be a pretty similar process. Uh, uh, you can see it's writing and stuff. It's going to take a little, uh, whatever. It's a pretty big file. I don't know why it's <laughs> such a big file. I guess let's see. This is a folder, right? Okay, yep. So this is a folder. There's nothing in the folder, but. It's the whole point is that there, the drive is there. It, it's, you can see the drive. You can use this on PC Mac. I can switch it back and forth, and everything will be fine, right? Yeah, if you have a drive that you plug in for the first time, what you want to make sure is we can actually format to make it sure for both, right? Because this is right XFAT, so it's already working on both. But if we hit, if we go to Disk Utility on any drive that we have here, you definitely want to make sure it's on the external because the external is obviously going to be the drive that you're actually working on. So if we do it here and we hit actually Erase, and you'll see the format that you want to do it. You can do it in Mac OS Journal, which is going to keep it on a Mac drive. And we'll go over that in just a little bit. And uh, uh, MS-DOS is a FAT, but that's an older um, standard. But now we XFAT is more the newer standard. I'm not going into those. I can make a whole separate video talking about what the difference is for each one. But I'm just showing you guys how to do a quick format and stuff. So if we do format through XFAT, then it's going to go ahead and work. And that's how you do it from here. You can just hit Erase. It's going to do the same thing again because it's just formatting through XFAT, but this is the same thing if you had a drive you plug in for the first time, you just go here, you can just utility, erase, format it that way. Now, we're gonna flip it. So what if this drive was NTFS to begin with? Okay guys, I'm back again. And now I have, uh, I have an NTFS drive. Now, so if I go back to this, um, if I just leave this open, actually just utility, and you see this Windows NTFS file system you can see that's here so like well okay at least I could see the drive right why can I can I just do this yeah I can write I can uh, read the drive here and write to at least my desktop but wait when I try to put something on there you see that it shows a little circle with a line through it so you're not able to actually uh, write back to the drive there you can just take stuff files off it but you can't put it back so that's not really fortunate so again you're gonna be doing the same thing if you want to do that you can just format it through here but again then again it's going to erase all the data so definitely make sure you back it up first or at least take the stuff off the drive first but if you have a big drive that might be a problem from from the beginning so if you have an older drive you can again just do that just hit erase but make sure you back it up you can see it's ready in ntfs here but you can switch it to you can switch to xfat a uh, macOS journal, uh, we'll go over that in just a little bit after that one because we'll show you the opposite actually on Windows Drive. So we go, we can go to XFAT and then erase it now. Oh no, we lost a chicken. Or a little, not chicken. <laughs> oh no, we lost a turkey picture, right? No, we transferred it first, it's fine. So now what we can do is we can write back to the drive. Now see, I can drop this back into the drive and it works totally fine. Now, what if we flip this again? So what if I format this, or what if I have a Mac drive on a Windows PC? Well, we can still do the same type of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to format this, and this is going to be a Mac OS journal drive. So it's going to be a little bit different, and still going to have the same name on it. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to format it this way, and this is going to be only working for Mac drives, right? And we're going to go plug it in our Windows machine and then show you how to format it that way. And I'll also put the turkey on there again, too. Okay, now I did plug in the drive. It, rec it made the little Windows noise, but it doesn't actually recognize it. So what are we going to do? Well, if we actually go here, we can go to uh, disk management. Or if you want to even right click this, you can actually go to disk management as well because I already have a shortcut. This will bring it up the brought up my major screen there. But you actually go, we'll go down here and we actually see that there is a partition, right? It says, it says 931 gigs, right? Free, and that's not here. So it is one of the drives. It's recognized. But it says just basic, uh, oh, I'm sorry, whoops, is recognized, but it just says active primary partition, but it doesn't say anything else. You see, the other ones say NTFS, but this one, because Windows just doesn't really recognize it, right? So there's something we can do. 
Um, if you want this to work, and again, if you have an old Mac drive, this will work the same way this way, but you want to make sure you make a backup of it first before you format it, because again, formatting it is going to delete absolutely everything, so it can work on both. So you need to make a backup before you're able to do this. So you can actually see if we right click it, you hit delete volume, and it says this active partition on the disk, everything will be lost, all the data. Usually when you wipe your drive, it, will always, it usually says that the, the data might be lost on there, and that's obviously what we want to do. Let's go ahead and do that. And watch, it's going to be as uh, inactive now, but it will show at least a drive there. And even actually at the top, it showed it there. Now it says it's unallocated. If you still look there, it still isn't there yet, right? In the Windows File Explorer, it still isn't there. So what we have to do, I'm going to leave it actually, well, I'll put it over here. I guess I can window it or so. Oops. Oh, that's confusing. Okay. But we can hit new simple volume now because now there's nothing on the drive. It's unallocated. So this is like if you buy a new hard drive, if you put it in like a desktop for the first time, you'll usually see it this way. You have to format it. So we have to hit next. And you'll see that's going to show you the allocation. Just leave it the, the way it's supposed to be. You can assign a drive letter if you like F or if you like Z, whatever. You can let's do Z. I don't think anyone ever does Z, right? Let's do Z. And um, for Windows file system, it's usually going to do at NTFS because that's the default. If you're using it in inside a Windows drive, like inside it, like if you have a desktop, you should probably just use NTFS and just to avoid any, any other type of issues. But if you're using it as an external, obviously we don't care. So let's go back to XFAT. And we'll just do the same thing from before, LOL. And see, it doesn't go that, <laughs> that long on the volume label. And we're going to perform a quick format. You can leave it the way it is. It's pretty straightforward. And then you're just, just going to re-ask everything here. And then you hit Finish. And now when this is done, you're going to see it comes up. And it just popped up automatically, right? Now it shows the XFAT drive. It's healthy. And it's on the drive Z. So if we extend it here on this PC, now we can see it here. And that's really how you do it. And uh, there's both ways to do that. And that's about it. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and actually learned something today about um, maybe if you had like an old hard drive around that you want to use and make it for both systems for Windows and Mac or the other way around if you have an older Mac drive and you want to use it for Windows and Mac, this is how you actually do it. Again, you always want to make sure you make a backup before you do anything like this or have another drive or put it to, to a computer first because formatting it is going to wipe all the data. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do like. It really does help us a lot. Um, comment down below if you've actually done this before or if you're actually familiar with this whole type of process. You might not be exactly too sure, but I hope I actually uh, taught you guys something a little bit differently. I was showing you guys a disk management tool and the disk utility tool. It was actually a little bit longer than I was going to hope for. I'll try to edit it down, but it's good information, I think, for you guys. I think it would be some helpful tips, actually, for you guys to transfer it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it again and learned something today. And, again, we do data recovery, so this is always a thing we like to show you guys. If you guys are interested in tips, we have lots of cool other tips on our channel about Windows operating system and Mac operating system as well as all of the other crazy stuff going on. So see you guys next video. Thanks all for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.